We don't know much more than we did a year ago. The father of one of the four Americans killed in the attack on Benghazi pleaded with a congressional committee to keep looking for answers. And he was not alone. A San Diego mother who lost her son became emotional during today's testimony. 10 News reporter Bob Lawrence explains why both don't believe the official version of what happened. Do you solemnly swear? House Oversight Committee Chairman Daryl Issa Vista takes the oath of Charles Woods and Pat Smith, parents of Ty Woods, a Navy SEAL, and Sean Smith, a computer expert, who were both killed in the September 11, 2012 attack in Benghazi. It's been over a year. We have no justice, and we have very few truthful answers. We met Pat Smith at her home in Claremont a month after her son in a flag draped casket and three others came home. Smith said that she asked the president and others then to tell her what happened. What they said was, I will check up on it and get back to you for sure. And you know how many times I heard from them? None. The official report presented earlier by former chairman of the Joint Chiefs, Admiral Mike Mullen, was that there wasn't anything the military could do, which prompted this response from Woods. If the president's child were in Benghazi, would the rescue attempt have been more aggressive? The hearing was politically charged from the very beginning. The American people were outright lied to as to the cause of the attack. Something Pat Smith said has been, quote, hell to live with. I don't trust my government anymore because they lie to me. Woods raised the criticism that the military was held back. In his investigation, Admiral Mullen said he spent a considerable amount of time on that issue. The military did everything they possibly could that night. They just couldn't get there in time. The hearing ended with a promise from ISA that their investigation is not over. Bob Lawrence, 10 News. And before the hearing closed, ISO announced that he had subpoenaed two more people to testify in a future hearing.